Here we are at uh, Gibraltar Falls, it's Mackie James, this is one of my favourite spots, it's very peaceful. Um, as you can see the tranquil waters are, are behind me. Uh, Gibraltar Falls is in the Corrin Forest which is in the ACT, uh, which is not um, that uh, difficult to drive to get to from, from where I live and I come here occasionally. I've probably not been here for what, about uh, 10 months maybe, 9 months maybe, I'll have to check on the computer. Uh, but I haven't been here for a while. I certainly haven't done a, a video here before. So this is a first. I was just um, really going what's uh, on my mind. I do have a, an awareness now with me. Thank you, sir. Thank you, uh, uh, my, my voice in my mind. Um, it's really about uh, being cautious what your thoughts are and how your thoughts are created and um, where your thoughts uh, originate from. Because I'm working in um, in observant mind mode, um, I'm observing my thoughts at the moment. So really, what's going on in my head is is I've got the awareness of um, where I'm standing. I've got an awareness that it's um, fairly chilly this moment, this this morning, and I'm also got a, a feeling of um, what my what my own physical conditions are are like. Um, Thank you. I do understand now where I actually want to go with um, this information. I want to actually talk about physical mediumship. Um, a form of physical mediumship that is clairsentience, clear feeling, clear sensing. So there's clairsentience and clairsentience. Uh, they, are, they are similar but they are different. One is clear sensing, one is clear feeling. Um, and I, I've established a means of communication with um, the other world. And I do feel that there are people coming around me at this moment in time and uh, I could actually probably do uh, some mediumship messages um, in this sort of uh, state of mind. But um, I've got to say that uh, physical mediumship uh, is something that I've developed over really over 20, 30 years. And it all started when um, I was doing a, a meditation. I was doing one of my creative visualization meditations for myself. Um, and at some state I had um, a force, I had an entity, I had a being that I was meeting on the inner planes um, and I was asked um, about a special um, ability, uh, do I, did I wish to actually experience it and during the meditation it was very easy, yes, uh, beings, people, uh, ex-humans, other worlders want to come to the earth plane and they do want to uh, interact with people on the earth plane but uh, those that have had the extreme physical conditions won't actually come because the pain or the memory of the pain or the memory body is too great in order to uh, make communication so what we want you to do and bear in mind i was um i was a youngster at this time i was in my i was in my 20s and i was agreeing to anything and everything that was being um, thrust in my path I, I agreed during this inner planes meditation that yeah, go on then, I'll feel these pains, I'll take these pains on board, go on, I'll do that, so that means I can actually communicate um, on behalf of these, these um, ex-humans. Didn't realise the implications of this, really, until I was doing uh, my first expo uh, in Liverpool in the UK. Um, I'd sat down, I was uh, wet behind the ears, I was cutting my teeth doing um, these, uh, these expos and this gentleman sat down and uh, I do remember it quite plainly, this gentleman sat down and straight away um, my heart felt like it was bursting. I, I really felt like I was having a major, major heart attack. I'd of course forgotten the, the agreement, I'd forgotten the contract that I'd, uh, I'd made with the, the other worlds and I began having this major heart attack. I began having all these uh, really bad pains and uh, my, uh, my client was getting most concerned because uh, I, I, didn't, I was panicking, I didn't know how to cope. But um, once I'd uh, established that the heart attack or the condition had passed, um, I suddenly realized that uh, I had the gentleman's father and I was able to make a connection with the father and communicate with the father and it turned out that uh, the condition that I had and the way that I uh, I was replaying a passing was exactly how this uh, this gentleman's father had passed so um, 
I sort of pass this realization on to um, to my client who was gobsmacked because I'd actually he'd actually witnessed his father's passing and uh, what I had actually done was emulate exactly how um, his father had passed. So that was the very first time that I actually used this clairsentience, clairsentience, physical mediumship ability that I actually used during uh, readings. And here we are, probably about um, 28, 29 years on, because um, it didn't happen straight away in my career. Here we are, 28, 29 years on, um, and I've had, um, let's say, major heart attacks, brain, brain aneurysms, I've had um, burst appendix, I've had lung collapses, I've had lung cancers, I've had being shot, being hung, um, I've had epilepsy, I've had all these, I've all had all these major, major conditions and I've actually experienced all these major, major conditions as a physical medium. And you do actually feel the conditions and there is a, on many occasions where I've had a really bad night, I've had a terrible night's sleep, I've had palpitations, I've had heart conditions, I've had banging kidneys, I've had sore lungs, I've had terrible backs, um, I've had headaches and 99.9% .9 of the time, because some of the time it is me, 99% of the time, 99.9% um, .9 of the time I should say, um, they have been for my, my first client of the day, either at home or an expo. So um, the way to explain that is, is, is that the, the ex-human has made the uh, connection with me um, during my sleep state when I've been at my most relaxed and they have been standing around me waiting for me to um, make a connection with their loved one with their with their um, their human uh, human counterpart here on the earth plane so that's um, just a little sample of how uh, how my physical mediumship works now uh, obviously with observant mind and with techniques that i use i do question every single thought every single um, moment that I am in the, the state of connection with the other world. It is something that I've developed and it's something that I, I stress that you guys who are doing the mediumship do need. This is, a, this is a real voice of experience. This is a wise one. This is an elder. This is somebody who has been doing it for a very long time, who does watch the industry and does see all the mistakes and does shake his head um, in alarm when he sees how a lot of people are working um, this in this industry uh, even the established ones even the ones that have done the Stansted Hall on have made themselves well known who I've been up on stage with even they falter even they have to um, I've got a um, I've got somebody's um, sister here going to the first table Am I with you? No, sorry, I haven't got a sister that's died. Going to the next table. Am I with you with a sister that's died? No. Am I with you? I'm going around all the tables until uh, they'd found the table where a sister had died, but unfortunately it was the wrong sister. And the information that was passed on to this person was completely inaccurate. It was forced on them. They were told that they can't say yes or no. They were told, shush, 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 I'll tell you. And it was completely, totally and utterly wrong. And that's not mediumship. That's not even coal reading. That is just somebody who um, is uh, giving the appearance of being a physical medium but hasn't got information. I'm sorry, but I have to say that there is too many of that type of person out there given the likes of me. So I'm really going to leave you at this name. point. And I'm just going to do a little bit more wandering. So you've been listening to Matthew James. That is Gibraltar Falls in the background. And I have been talking about my physical mediumship. Thank you for now. Bye, everybody.